Diana is Easton's niece and she is a very talented, very passionate pastry chef. She wants to invent things that no one's ever seen before or tasted before. Easton kind of takes her under his wing a little bit and he thinks that he's helping her and I think she thinks that she's helping him and all that kind of stuff, it's very fun. There are definitely some similarities between the two of us. I think the vulgarity and crass language definitely comes a lot easier for me than my mum would care for me to admit. So there's that. But I definitely think she's like a lot cooler than I am. She's, yeah, she's pretty cool. Diana's relationship with Easton is kind of, I think it's really funny. She really likes to push his buttons and she knows where sort of the line is and she likes to cross it. That's kind of her thing. She really looks up to him, I think, as well. You know, like he's made it in the industry and that's what she wants. And I think that that's kind of like a part of her, her makeup is that she knows that it's possible because a member of her family has done it. So I think she really looks up to him, but you know, also she's not afraid to tell him what's, what's up and what's been happening for the last 25 years. Chef stepping out of the limelight championing new female voices. Yes. Diana's relationship with Denise is kind of the same. She really likes to push her buttons and she knows where her limits are and she likes to cross that line. She knows that her mum is sort of a bit uptight and they've been through a lot together, I think, in the past, but she loves her mum and she just wants to sort of like make things right, I think, for her mum as well, so that she can sort of let go and move forward. They love each other, they're just <laughs> oftentimes on different pages. Diana's relationship with Brett is probably one of my favourites in the show. You know, it's sort of unconventional in the fact that they're not biologically related, but I don't think that's ever mattered to either of them. They love each other like a father-daughter should. Um, she sees him as her dad and, you know, confides in him and I think that's really important. She thinks he's funny and, you know, all of the stuff that a dad is. <laughs> Diana's such like a raw, um, very real and authentic character and she's going through really real things. This family is so dysfunctional, like most families are. I mean, it's hilarious. It's so funny. I don't think there's anything like this on TV that I've seen, you know, in Australia. So I think it's really special.